Badger, what are you doing? Hey, man. I got my cobra. Look at this. They don't see this shit. Look at this. Look at this. This this will be a first for me and Badger turning in uh, burned copper wire. Yes. Yes. Save me some work. Old creepy daycare work bus caught on fire. Check out all these car seats in it. Everyone. Car seats. Even in the back, car seats. Creepy weird. I don't know the whole story behind it. I don't know if anybody got hurt, etc. But weird. But she's burned to a crisp. Dunzo. Okay, we'll catch up with this later. Out of the van, right into the war horse. That's the best thing about junk and cars. Pretty much free fuel. And just so you know, the van was uh, another freebie score off Facebook a uh, buddy of mine told me about. So that ought to be pretty good. The van probably weighs 6,000 pounds or so, hopefully, or close to it. It's a one-ton van. I think it's like a 12-passenger. So we'll see. Badger's over there working on it now, but six or seven gallons of free gas is the whole point in this clip. Okay, so me and the Badger were hustling up to uh, get the um, van broke down so didn't really videotape much but we got uh some goodies this van was just old enough to still have a brass and copper radiator with it in it whichever you can see right there that yellow and then the copper color on the ends there had a uh, brass and copper heater core as well this is something to do with the uh air conditioning um that's aluminum and then luckily the battery wasn't even hurt at all it's, uh, I don't know, it might take a charge, might not, but that's the the uh, radiator. Used to be a $20 bill for my core guy, but that's like 15 now because scraps is down. But I can take it to him dirty, and I can leave a piece of rubber on there. I can leave the steel hoses for the transmission cooler rather than take it to the scrapyard and get a next to nothing price. Um, and then catalytic converter here, right there, nice and full. You can see the honeycomb inside of there. And on the other side, honeycomb still right there. That's probably about 60 to $65. And then it, uh, because it's like a 12 passenger van, it had a pretty good sized air conditioning system in it. Got two nice ACRs there. Badger scavenged up that piece of brass from somewhere. Yeah. But there's a little bit of number one copper in there. Badger, number Badger took off all the, the copper noodles separated the one and two yes. off the cutoff ends of the ACR. Yes, so absolutely. there's a fatal accident on the highway that we need to take to the uh, scrap yard. And then, uh, so we're gonna try and run up there and hopefully that accident's cleared up by I'm now. I'm getting ready to go up there and eat my way through that muck. Yeah. <laughs> you are? Hell yeah. Badger, how much do you think yeah. the van weighs? Oh, that bitch about six, about six grand. I'd say six. Yeah, she a good six. Did you? Oh, and Badger got, what'd you get? 12 or 15 pounds of burned wire, uh, Badger? Oh, yes. Yes. At least. Badger, I, you really can't see it. What, I should have took it before and after, but oh, that no. firewall was loaded well, just with wire. Well, anybody know what the inside of a vehicle look like underneath? You don't see no wire there, do you? That's right. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, gone. Absolutely. Oh, I wonder if the radio still works and it reads the ah. correct time. It's reading um, eight o'clock something, isn't it? We uh, we gave the scrapyard a uh, a satellite dish too, in case they want to watch TV. But okay, we're out of here. Badger, give them a little narration of what's going on here. Mm. Yeah, let them look at this. Get a good view. Oh, look at the train. Look at this big yellow greasy bitch. Look at him. This is what the scrapyard look like, y'all. This is what the Badger fights for. I love it. Oh, damn, look at that big heavy. Oh my God, I wish we had that. <laughs> Check us out going around this curve and around here. We are now inside it. Oh, look at all of that. Solid steel. Look at this mouse eating shit. Look like a mouse house. <laughs>
He just got this thing sitting here just, he don't even worry about using that no more. Old truck shit to run up on. Yeah, she right sloppy oh, in here. They cleaned this out up. Oh, they did, didn't they? Oh, oh shit. Oh, you got the magnet over there. You got the magnet. You got to the dashboard. You got to show them the yeah, oh. <laughs> I'm look look at this look what they done done here. Oh, got the rails and shit. Damn, you got a big ass fucking fly here. Oh, oh, look at this mess. Holy I'm trying God. to tell you. They storing shit, man. God damn it. He stored. Look at this tiny little guy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, he's storing. Yeah. He's storing shit. They ain't letting shit go out, man. A little bit of bonus footage for ya. Metro bus right there. Scrapping that. Well, that crane operator is extremely slow. Holy cow, you think he's unloading brand new BMWs. Guess that one had a gas tank in it. I'm gonna try and pick it out. Oh, that's what I was going to show you. This, uh, now I got to walk around the other side. This, um, this van had a big plastic gas tank in it, and that's the best part sometimes of a junk car as well, because normally you got to take them out. But this one had plastic. I just took a PVC handsaw and cut a big hole in it, as you can see. And as long as you have a big enough hole in it that they can tell that there's obviously no gas, you get to leave that. So you get paid for that as well. Here it comes, Gabby. Okay, so that guy apparently didn't, didn't like the video, but that's tough titties for him, pal. Look, here he comes again. He's gonna, gonna tell me no video recording. Not this time, huh? Here comes the badger. Oh, badger flyby. Okay, so the van was deceivingly lighter than I thought, only 48.60, but we got 243 bucks. There it is. 
not too shabby for a free van plus probably oh maybe a hundred dollars worth of cores and stuff like that sorry the guy didn't like me videotaping i had to cut that short but oh well thanks for watching